I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. There was a negative two million two hundred six thousand seven hundred and seventy four dollars. In 2018, there was a negative two million four hundred seven thousand one hundred eighty two dollars. In 2019, there was a negative one million seven hundred ninety four thousand and fifty one dollars. In 2020, there was a negative four million three hundred ninety eight thousand. $289. In 2021, there was a negative $1,951,891. In 2022, there was a negative, in uh, change of fund balance, there was a negative $4,558,558. In 2023, there was a surplus, and it, it was a change. It, it was a change of some about some change in the fund balance. There was a positive three million one hundred ninety-five dollars six hundred and fifty-two dollars. In twenty twenty-four, the change of fund balance was a positive six million one hundred fifty thousand nine hundred and eight dollars. Here's what I have to say. In every budget, in every budget, there comes up things that are not planned for. Last year, FEMA emergencies were not planned for. I asked. Uh, can you please let them talk? I asked FEMA. I asked FEMA, what was the total amount of money that our super mayor, our Thornton Township supervisor, brought to our to our community? And these are the facts. You can fact check. Federal assistance for Thornton Township, Cook County, three hundred and seventy-five million dollars. It's not in the budget. Is there is there a place? where when we put out the budget, you can also report things that weren't in the budget, but we received money for. $375 million came here to one, I don't know, raise your hands if you got some of that FEMA disaster relief. Okay, okay, nobody else, nobody else in here got a dollar from FEMA to help get their burning sticks, their hot water tanks, the flooding, okay, okay. It was for John Lansing, South Carolina. Everybody in the So, that's the fact. Is there a place? Is there a place? Is there a place? You don't know what you're talking about. The last thing I want to say, it never failed. When we were in the deficit with Zuccarelli, people didn't come out like this. But the moment you find out we got millions of dollars in these departments, Everybody wants to come out to try to find out how can I get some of it, okay? One more thing, the Affordable Care Act, the Affordable Care Act, for people, for, for people that can't afford home internet service, the funds, the funds are canceled. Sir, is my time up yet? It's up. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Now your total tax bill for the year comes out to $5,939.10. That's what you owe for owning your house. Now part of the bill goes to Thornton Township, specifically $313.43. So out of your total total bill, Thornton Township gives three hundred thirteen dollars forty three cents to help run things in Thornton Township. To put it in a simpler term, for one for every one dollar you pay in taxes, about five cents goes to Thornton Township. Uh, page four is the sample. Repeat that, Robert. You said how much goes to Thornton Township? Just repeat it, Robert. I'm listening. Robert, repeat it. Wow. Why she talk to you like that? Page four of the sample tax bill. Okay, so what I'm trying to point out to you guys is Thornton Township only takes five cents of your tax dollars. The tax levy comes from your city you live in. So if you live in Riverdale, if you live in Dalton, if you live in Harvey, if you live in Calumet City, if you live in Posen, wherever you live, that is what the bulk of your tax bill comes from. This is the part I try to educate everybody on when we get into uh, Township Talk. So another part that your tax bill comes from is your school board, your library board, your park board. They don't tell you this. So it's not all up there in the township. So you got to I'm trying to educate you on something. So the part, the part that comes from us, you out of order. The part that comes from going township is five cents. So I'm trying to tell you that that's what Robin is sitting there telling you, as well as said the bill is breaking it down to show you how the five cent comes to your from your household, from your tax bill. All right, go ahead, Robin. Okay. Uh, right now, on uh, page five, it does a breakdown of key um, financial terms. Uh, fund balance. In simple terms, the fund balance for government entity is like a, is like the money left over in the accounts after have paid all their bills and expenses. Kind of like the leftover cash you have in your wallet after you pay for everything you need. Change in fund balance. The change in fund balance for the year for government entities like checking if you end up with more money saved up or if they went into debt by comparing what they took in versus what they spent. Revenue. Revenue is the money they collect from taxes, fees, and other sources to pay for public services like roads, schools, and healthcare. Expenses. Expenses for government entities are the money they spend on things like salaries, building roads, community events, and other things that help run a township. Now I'm going to page um, page six. This chart shows the change in fund balance for the general fund. In 2017, there was a negative two million two hundred six thousand seven hundred and seventy-four dollars. In 2018, there was a negative two million four hundred seven thousand one hundred eighty-two dollars. In 2019, there was a negative one million seven hundred. $94,051. In 2020, there was a negative $4,398,289. And in 2021, there was a negative $1,951,891. In 2022, there was a negative, in uh, change of fund balance, there was a negative $4,500,000. $58,558. Where's our refund? Where's our refund? In 2023, there was a surplus. And it was a change in the fund balance. There was a positive $3,195,000. And in 2023, the change in fund balance was a positive $6,150,000. $908. Okay, so what he just explained to you is the previous years y'all had a deficit. In the two years that I've been here as your supervisor, you have a surplus. So we're showing you the numbers. It's in each budget. It is online. You can check it out. So 
So we're gonna keep going so we can show you the proof because everybody's just misleading you guys, giving you information that's not true. So we here to set the record straight. Go ahead, Bob, the next slide.
2022, our fund balance decreased to $2,212,417. In 2023, our fund balance increased to $5,408,125. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody take the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down.